Hi guys, in this video I want to share three methods with you that can help you build strength towards your first bodyweight muscle up. I've used all of these three methods myself during different times in my muscle up journey. But the most important thing is to stick with one method for a few weeks or months even. Because it's really hard to switch between methods and tracking your progress at the same time. You know, I've done that mistake myself, you know, switching between different methods feeling like I'm not making any progress and so on. So pick one method and give it a go. So the first method is what I've been using myself for quite some time now and it's the pyramid method. But I want to show you how you can use that method with resistance bands and show you how I incorporate that method in my own training. And in this example I will show you a pyramid from one to three and then down. So let's say your max is five to six reps with the green one then you want to start with let's say maybe the black one because you're just doing one rep okay so i'll just do one rep with the black man and try to avoid going to complete failure try to have one one rep or maybe two in reserve so because your max is five to six with the green you're starting with the black one for one rep Okay, and then you rest until recovered. That can be anything from, you know, one minute to five minutes. And now you're gonna do two reps. So you can either go with the purple one, or maybe you can try the black and the red one together. So you just have to experiment a little bit with the different bands. But let's say you're, you're trying this one for two reps. One. two and then again you rest until recovered and now you're going to do three reps and you might be a little bit fatigued from the previous reps so let's say you just use the green band so the green band for three reps so this will be your top set one And then again, rest until recovered. And maybe you feel a little bit more fatigued now, so you could try the purple band for two reps. One. Two. And rest until recovered. And then you can try the band that you started with, the black band, for one rep. One. Depending on how many days a week you're training your muscle ups, this entire thing can be one set. Maybe you want to do two sets or three sets for that day. And I would always recommend tracking your results. So I would write down what band I chose for each set. Like in one week or two weeks, you can try to use a lighter band maybe for the second set or, you know, or, you know, progress as you go on. This is a really good method, method to increase your strength using resistance bands and using the pyramid method. So I'll show you how I use the pyramid method in my own training. Okay guys, so it's time for my weighted muscle up workout. And if you have seen my previous videos, you, you've seen that I'm on my weighted muscle up journey. So right now I'm weighing like 93 kilos and I'm starting very slow. So I've added two kilo extra using ankle weights. And today, I unfortunately, I have to make a big jump from 2 kilos to 4 kilos. And for me, that's a big jump. You know, I would rather do 3 kilos, but because I don't have like 0 0.5 weight increases, I have to jump to 4. So let's see how that goes. But I'm using the same method as before, which is the pyramid. So I'm doing 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. And uh, as I said before, it's very important to, you know, keep your method for about, you know, at least a few weeks and a few months to be able to track your progress more easily. I will start by warming up a little bit. So I have two black bands here. So I'm just gonna assess my explosiveness of the day because if you're on your muscle up journey, you know how the explosive explosiveness can vary from day to day. So let's see how it feels today. Okay. So that felt very good. All right, rested like 
a minute, I think. Jump into one black band. Do the second warm up set. You know, the weather is getting better here in, in Sweden, but it's still kind of cold. So I'm going to do a one bodyweight muscle up and then rest for a few seconds and, you know, do one more until I feel that, you know, my body is warmed up for the two kilo muscle ups. Okay, I rested for about 30, 40 seconds. I'll do one more. Okay guys, I rested for a few minutes. The ankle weights are on. So these are one kilo on each leg. So it's the weight that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. So I'll do the same procedure as before, doing one muscle up, resting a little bit, you know, warming up my explosiveness and my joints for the step up to four kilos. So let's do one muscle up. Last muscle up with two kilo extra. Okay guys, so I have four kilos. I've never tried this weight before and my goal is to do the pyramid. One, two, three, two, one. The goal is to make this feel kind of easy over the next few weeks and months. So one thing I notice when, you know, I'm increasing weight or when you are moving from a you know, thicker resistance band to a thinner one and make the muscle up harder, it's very important to have the technique down like in your body, in your system. Because as you're increasing weights or moving to a lighter resistance band, if you don't have the technique, you're gonna make the muscle up much harder. But if you have the technique down, you will just work on your strength and the technique will make the muscle up easier. So if you notice that your technique is breaking down as you progress, my, rec my recommendation would be just to take a step back and maybe add a few more reps or, you know, work a little bit more on the technique. One. Two. Okay guys, I rested until recovered. So this is the top set of my pyramid. So four kilo extra, three reps. So, you know, my goal isn't to go to complete failure at, at the top set. You know, I could have managed one more, but not more than that. So I think these weights are good for me right now. As I'm progressing week after week, these weights are going to feel much lighter. I'm going to use this weight for maybe like one, two or maybe three months. Okay, so I rested until recovered. And I think that was about, I think five minutes actually. When you're doing muscle ups in this kind of way, when you're, you know, you want to get stronger and more explosive, it's not like, you know, building muscle where you can rest for like two minutes, two or three minutes and then do the next set. And we should view this as more of a like a powerlifting or something like that, where you're doing like few reps and maybe more sets. And then you have to rest until recovered. And that's, that is usually like four to five minutes. If you're doing like three to five or three to six heavy reps, give you, th give you that time, like five minutes until you, you know, feel explosive again. So. Two reps. Last rep of the pyramid with four kilo extra, two kilo jump. All right, pyramid done. I will be doing this for a few weeks until this weight feels a little bit lighter and just continue on my weighted muscle up journey. Try to do this workout for three sets or five sets. So I'll demonstrate two sets. So let's say your max is five reps with the green one. So then you wanna do like three or four reps. Try to avoid going to complete failure. So let's say you're doing three reps. One. Two, 
three. And then what you do is, because you have two reps left, you switch to the purple band and you do the remaining two. One. Two. And that is one set. And then you rest for five minutes. Okay guys, so set number two, you rested for five minutes. You might be a little bit fatigued from the first set. So let's say you can do two reps with the green one instead of three like in the first set, because you're a little bit fatigued. One. Two. And then you might pair the purple band with the red band. And do, let's say you can do two reps with this combination. And don't forget to write these combinations down as you're training because you want to increase them week by week and month by month. So let's say you can do two reps with this one. One. Two. And for the last rep, you may, might have to use the purple one and the black one together. And now you completed two sets. And you can see where this is going, so you can copy this style to your own strength level. And I used this method myself in the beginning and I saw great results from it. And that leads me to the final method, which is the EMO method. And I've been using this method from time to time in my own training. So let's stick with the example that your max is five to six muscle ups with the green one. Then you do two reps every minute on the minute for let's say 10 minutes and you just do two reps and then you rest for the remaining time and the app i use for this workout uh, actually i can leave the link to that app in the description it's, it's like a free app and it's really good so so this method allows you to get more reps in, more volume. So let's say when you finish this EMOM, you've done 20 reps. You can also do it for one rep every minute on the minute. And it's great for getting in more volume in your training. But because you're getting less rest, you have to use a thicker resistance band. And if you want the technique tips that got my client over the bar, I would recommend watching this video right here.